interviews done with homeless women over the past 13 years, only one was not raped as a young woman or sexually abused as a little girl. For many of these women, home is a very scary place, a place that they have fled. For most of them, ironically, shelters are the first place that they find safety, protection, or comfort. This is one woman's story as she told it. What isn't in the story is that while she was in the shelter, she met another woman, and they fell in love. And through their love, they both got out of the shelter system. Memory. December 1965, five years old. My mom tells me in a scary, She asked my mother if I could spend the 
tonight. And my mother is delighted that such a beautiful, successful young woman has taken an interest in me. I'm scared. <laughs> and I can't wait. <laughs> Her apartment's fantastic. She has got it hooked up. It's the 70s. The bees, the fluffy pillows, the moonlight. <laughs> I decide right then that I want to be a secretary like her when I grow up. <laughs> she fixes herself a drink, and she asks me what I'd like, and I say, the same as she's having. And she says, she didn't think my mama would like me drinking vodka. And I say, she probably wouldn't like me kissing girls either. And the pretty lady <laughs> 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 Then she changes into this chocolate satin teddy. Oh, she's so beautiful. I always thought bull daggers were ugly. I say, <coughs> you look great. She says, so do you. And I say, well, I've only got on this white cotton bra and underpants. And then she dresses me slowly in another satin teddy. It's a uh, Lavender, like the first soft days of spring. <laughs> the alcohol's gone to my head, and I am loose and ready. There's this picture over her bed of a naked black woman with a huge <coughs> afro. She gently and slowly lays me out on the bed, and just our bodies rubbing makes me come. Then she does everything to me and my coochie snorchy, but I always thought was nasty before, and... Wow. <laughs> she says, your vagina, untouched by man, smells so nice, so fresh. I wish I could keep it that way forever. I get crazy wild, and then the phone rings. And of course, it's my mama. I'm sure she knows she catches me at everything. <laughs> I'm breathing all heavy, and I, I get on the phone and try to act normal. And she says, what's the matter with you? You've been running. And I say, oh, no, Mama. Uh, exercising. <laughs> she tells the pretty lady to make sure I'm not around any boys. And the lady tells her, trust me, there's no boys around here. <laughs> Afterwards, the beautiful secretary teaches me everything about my coochie snorcher. She makes me play with myself in front of her and teaches me all the different ways to give myself pleasure. And she's very thorough. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning, I'm afraid I've become a butch because I'm so in love with her. She laughs, but I never see her again. I realize later that she was my surprising, unexpected, politically incorrect salvation. She transformed my sorry-ass Gucci snorcher and raised it into a kind of heaven.